Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna to show you guys a really cool trick on the latest devices running the latest iOS 17 firmwares. We're gonna talk about how to hide applications and even lock them on iOS 17, any device without a jailbreak, without a computer, it literally couldn't be any easier. So the app that we're going to use today to accomplish this is called AppLock. To find it, it will be the first link down below in the description, or you can just open up your app store and you can type in AppLock, that's just A-P-P-L-O-C-K, and once you do, you can find it that way and just download it on your device. This is the one to go with. So far, it's been incredibly reliable, works great, and has received frequent updates. Now, once you open the application, you will have the ability to set up a pin as well as enable Face ID. I highly recommend you do that because what you have access to essentially is the ability to completely lock and unlock your apps as well as hide or conceal them so you don't don't want anybody to just be able to basically defeat this without having that passcode and or face ID set. So once you have that set inside of settings, it literally couldn't be any easier than just selecting which applications you either want to lock or to hide. So here in this instance, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like basically to just lock your photos app. So you can either lock them by category or like what I just showed you searching. Now, now searching in order to get it to appear you kind of have to drag and then you can just search that way and you should be able to find any application on your device and then once you have it set you just hit start let's go to the home screen and now you can see the photos application is actually kind of grayed out and we have a little like timer right there so when we go to tap it it says that access is denied and we have the option to either close or to unlock it now if we want to unlock it it takes us back to the application and then it is temporarily unlocked now the unlock will vary based on what you have set inside of settings so in settings, the default unlock time, I have it just set to one minute, which means that after one minute of usage, the application will just lock. You can set this to anywhere from one minute up to 30 minutes. So that's a really cool feature and very nice to have for the purpose of locking your applications. Now let's check out how to conceal or hide your apps. This is what I think is really cool and the standout feature of this application, again, in my opinion, and what we're really talking about today, how to hide your apps. So like with the option to lock your apps, you have the ability to just toggle entire categories of apps if you want, or you can drill down into specific categories, maybe check and uncheck things. Like for instance, I unchecked messages and you can add new ones as well just by searching for them that way. Once you have all of the applications selected that you want to hide or conceal, you just tap on start. And then just like with the ability to lock them, they are now hidden. So you might not have noticed it, but before all of those social apps were available inside of this folder right here. So let's go back and I'm gonna just show you guys let's stop it so here they are and let's go back again and let's start it again and now they are gone just like that it's dynamic it's on the fly one thing I wanted to point out this is actually why I have one application not selected inside the app lock app is because if you have a folder like this for instance and you select every single application inside of the folder and then you start to hide them when you unhide them they will all go to different spots on your device's home screen so that is one key thing to note and one kind of workaround to ensure that your applications don't end up in other or random spots on your device's home screen. So if I were, for instance, to, I'll just show you what it looks like and just note that now once I do this and then reverse it, all of these applications will pop out of this folder. But let me just show you what it looks like just so you can kind of avoid it. So in this instance, we're gonna select social and then we're also going to search for Reddit, which is the other app and that is actually listed as the information and reading category. So let's now go ahead and hit start and you'll see that now that folder is completely gone on my device's home screen. And in fact, if I were to go back and then stop it, you can see that folder does not pop back up. 
So the way around that, of course, is to have at least one application inside the folder that is not listed as concealed or hidden. Don't worry though, the apps are definitely still on your device. I just took the liberty of finding them on another page on my phone here and just moved them to the home screen again. So here are the exact same apps that were previously in that folder. So that almost wraps everything up, but let's just go over the remaining categories inside AppLock. So you also have the ability to set a custom schedule with screen time control and focus another application from the developers and in fact if you do subscribe to premium inside this app you get premium access to not only that application but also the developers other app QR code generator which I'm sure some of you will find very useful so just with one pro subscription you get access to all three of these which is in fact really nice and and then also inside of here, you have the advanced category, which you can do things such as lock accounts, deny app installation, deny app removal, deny in-app purchases. You can even block Safari. You can lock out app cellular data, completely lock your cellular data plan. As a matter of fact, you can deny adding friends inside of Game Center. I mean, really the list goes on and on. So it's really an awesome application. I highly recommend checking it out, guys. It is free with a premium tier, but everything that you need for locking and concealing applications is available completely for free. Again, first link down below in the description. Let me know if you guys liked this video, if you enjoy it, and if you want more content similar to this moving forward. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.